Under a gunmetal sky and driving rain, leaders of some of the world's most powerful nations gathered in Hiroshima to confront the horrors of nuclear weapons. G7 leaders, including the heads of nuclear-armed Britain, France and the United States, arrived at the city's peace park to a sodden red carpet welcome from Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, who is from Hiroshima. The Japanese leader, whose wife wore a gold pin shaped like an origami crane, an unofficial symbol of the city's nuclear legacy, wants to put disarmament on the agenda as the bloc holds three days of talks. While the scene of leaders, including American President Joe Biden, laying wreaths at Hiroshima's cenotaph was heavy on symbolism, disarmament talks may be light on substance. Britain, France and the United States alone possess thousands of warheads, and the bloc's remaining members, including Japan, are covered by Washington's nuclear umbrella. And there appears to be little appetite to reduce stockpiles elsewhere, with Moscow making thinly veiled threats to use the weapons, China expanding its arsenal and North Korea stoking fears of a new nuclear test with a barrage of missile launches. Kishida is hoping to convince his counterparts to back his Hiroshima action plan, unveiled last year, which focuses on transparency around existing stockpiles and a commitment to non-proliferation. The United States and its G7 allies rolled out new sanctions against Russia's war machine, targeting Moscow's lucrative diamond trade and more entities linked to the invasion of Ukraine.